divorce their husband. Most divorces happen because the woman literally wakes up one day, normally by the influence of her friends. That people are really NPCs because there's no way you risk your kids' lives just to become an influencer. And I mean, like, I only sleep with guys that I've dated or talked to the, of the men that were like texting me or calling or currently taking me out. Treat me like my mama does. A healthy, operative word, healthy, would feel awkward with his woman buttering his waffles. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. Women do weird in between age 36 and 40. Women will either get pregnant by a random guy or their husband. Most divorces happen because the woman literally wakes up one day, normally by the influence of her friends, mama, or social media. At that age, your fertility is dwindling. Your best drive gets higher. You get in this weird midlife crisis between I'm still young enough to bear children, but I'm getting too old to do it. And all of a sudden, you're annoyed because he's not more assertive because he don't buy you enough gifts. What happens is a lot of women be perfectly happy in their relationship. Then they homegirl, man, do something extraordinary for them. She's all of a sudden unhappy looking at her man like, well, why doesn't he do stuff like this for me? You get married in your 20s, you absolutely should be building with the man. At the very least, you should not be getting in the way of his building. Mm, mm. Mm. You see what skin color she was, right? Now, I got to make a point here. You think she doesn't know many people that are like that? In her immediate living space, like the people she knows? I'm sure she knows. And most women are like this. Not even just black. Women are like this from every community. Actually, it's happening with a lot of, a lot of women from other colors as well. well. There's a reason why so many guys are being divorced around that age. It's like the women, wait, they hit that age, they're like, 20 years, and as she said, the drive increases, and automatically they start looking at the younger guy that's been hitting on him, right? Starts cheating with him, and then, you know what, I need to leave my man. Or, as she said, that friend, oh, my, her, my, my friend, her boy, I've even had that been said to me before. Oh, they're giving him this, and they're doing this, and they're doing that. And it's like, okay, you're comparing me to this guy. It's always a problem, and it happens around that age. She's she spent some real game for guys. Guys need to pay attention to that. I ain't say this in a minute. Goofy alert. So stuff like this made me really believe that there are NPCs out there. You guys remember this? This is that girl that uh gave up everything because she's seen people on TikTok going to different cities to live their dreams. So she did all of that while she has a young baby. Check this out. That people are really NPCs because there's no way you risk your kids' lives just to become an influencer. TikTok. TikTok in the... I'm going to play the clip. Stay from Warren for the night until I'm able to figure out at least how to get home. Kiara Jones came to Houston from Tallahassee at the start of the new year, chasing after a dream. This is like one of the biggest populations of the uh, social media influencers. That's kind of my goal to become a big influencer. Yes, Shadi moved to Houston to become an influencer with no bread. So now they are in the cold until she is able to figure out how can she become a successful influencer because she heard that Houston is just the land of influencers. <laughs> you can't make this up. 90% of influencers are living fake lives, bro. Just taking a photo, like I could literally go take a photo in front of a Lamborghini and say that is mine and you guys will believe it's mine. Then you can be an influencer on your phone. You don't have to travel to a whole nother state with no bread in order to become one. That's not how that works. And you actually got people defending this stating that basically we should never speak on people trying to chase their dreams we never know she may overcome this and actually become a great influencer okay what do you guys think about this okay what do you guys think about this this girl 
has a baby. As the man stated, he's right, right? If you have a phone, you can do things where you are. No matter what it is, you want to become an influencer, you do that while you have a job. You can't be out here doing... Do you know most YouTubers, they'll have a job until the point that hit that certain mark for a certain amount of months, then they'll leave the job? Just to make sure they're secure. Nobody's out here also trying to be living check to check. It can happen. when you, If you find yourself living YouTube check to YouTube check, you're living backwards, right? So her having no job and doing that with a baby makes no sense. It has to start now. So new, would you say your body count is in the double digits? Definitely. Definitely? Oh, shit. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, I only sleep with guys that I've dated or talked to. I don't do hookups. So then you must have talked to a lot of guys. I have. Way. I think I've dated over 80 people in my life. So proud. <laughs> but it's because I don't like to f around. Huh? Like so isn't that a sense like f around though? N no, You're like if you lot. date someone, you focus on that one person. You don't focus on multiple people. So. She belongs to the street. So. And then that still resulted in dating like double digits. Word. Man, that's that right there. Oof. So, there's someone like that. You see her, she's a beautiful woman. I give her probably like a seven, right? Seven, eight. Eight on a high scale. She's picked the most, right? And it's sad because, actually it's not sad for her. It's sad for guys because she's monkey branching. Every woman monkey branches. So think about it. And sometimes they'll be with another guy in between their monkey branch. So when they ready to leave the next guy, they're already monkey branching the new guy, right? So she's disgusting. She's disgusting, right? A lot of women out there are disgusting because that's what they do. And when you get caught up in that, I'll be honest, before I left the West, I got caught up in that before I was with Kay, right? Not, now what happens is, because it continuously happens, and I knew I figured out the game. I said, no. My ex, you're monkey branching. You're jumping from guy to guy. And you're doing, you're making sure you have that, that float, that floaty out there to catch you, right? So floaties out there, you're like, make sure before you jump in the water, make sure that floaty you can jump right into and you'll be good. I had to get I had to be out. I said, no, no more jumping on floaties. I'm out. I was out, made sure I'm I never turned back. And that was that. Separated was by myself, got with K, never turned back. And this is back, poof, I would say 2013. It's been a long time, guys. But anyway, let me hop into the next video. I was dating, when I met my husband, he was number 13. Number 13 what? Of, of the men I was currently I thought she dropped the body count on dating. here. I was about to say, damn. No, of the, of the men that were like texting me or calling or currently taking me out. Is that like an average amount of men for a woman? No, or just... the, men, the women that I coach, I try to get them to three or four. Mm. Wait, 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 hold on, wait. The 13th man you've ever dated in your life, you're saying? No, I, that I was currently they were dating, engaging with. Dating, like, dating and uh -huh. engaging with at that time. 13 men at once? Talking to, engaging, calling my phone, yeah. Proud. This, is, this is her being very honest because, because it's levels to the to it, right? It's like yeah, maybe some you guys. Should you should be. You should. Thirteen guys. What was happening there, y'all? Can you answer that? It was a competition. She's pitting one guy up against the next, right? So her husband must have been trick macadocious. She probably felt he was the most handsome, probably the tallest. And spending the most money. You got to have it all, right? Why would she choose anything less? They're, this is why guys don't want to take women out on dates, on expensive dates, because of what she just said right there. 13 guys at once. Do you know how many guys she uses? For, she had a 40-40 guy, the guy that gave her a good conversation, who she probably pinned the friends on. She was just placing guys. You belong here. You belong there. You belong over here. Guys no longer want to be placed. Guys no longer want to be put, placed in an unnecessary competition that they can't win. And women wonder why guys aren't dating anymore. Why guys don't approach anymore. Things like that. Why is he going to compete? And he doesn't know he's competing. Let the man know, hey, I'm dating 13 guys and see how fast he leaves. And my mom, thank you to my mom. And my mother, thank you to my mother. This one says, this one says, my mom 
Never dated a single Pinoy. And now I'm a dual citizen to one of the strongest passports in the world. So she's happy. Her mother dated a passport, bro. I guess uh, I think one of the strongest passports is Singapore. I'm not sure if that's it, but it's one of the strongest. And yeah, that's he probably was Singaporean. And she's happy about that, right? Because or it could be American. I don't know. She, she didn't say here. But of course, she's happy and appreciative. And I'm happy she's not bashing passport bros. You know, some women come from the, come from another, another land, from a third world country, and straight bash us to fend American women because she's probably American. And that's just not right. But anyway, let me hop on to the next one. Butters, your waffle without you asking. So this man is experiencing the treatment you get from a lot of Filipinas, right? Is that something that makes you feel like, yeah, some guys don't like that treatment. Some guys love it because they're like, wow, I never had a woman do the extras for me like that. Babying me like that, right? But you already see what we have here. Let's see what she has to say. We have a modern woman that's hating. Let's see what she got to say. I know. I know I'm going to get a lot of criticism for this, but this is just my perspective based on my experiences in relationships. But when I saw this video, it made me feel like this is something I would do for my four-year-old son if I had one. And in a healthy relationship, the two of you should live to serve and please one another. However, there is a very fine line in that relationship dynamic as a woman where you're towing the line between wife and mom. And this is coming from someone whose love language is acts of service. I get so much joy from doing things for people that I love, especially my man when I'm in a relationship. There was even a man in the comments that said, I'm telling you ladies, it works every time. Treat me like my mama does. A healthy, operative word, healthy, masculine man would feel awkward with his woman buttering his waffles. That's a who's that? Or his pancakes. Also, I need to add, if you're doing things that are indicative of what a mom would do with their son as a girl or wife to your man, maybe as you're walking around that house, picking up those socks, making his doctor's appointments and buttering his waffles, at some point, you're going to build some kind of resentment, especially if you have kids, because that's you got now two, two kids, three kids, four kids, including your man and your energy will be thrown off for him. So just just ladies. Ooh, she has no clue what she's talking about. Right. This is not every home, but. My wife does everything for me. My wife plans my doctor's appointment. I don't want her to butter my waffles, right? Of course, you're not going to get that all the time. But if I told my wife, butter my waffles and feed them to me, she's going to do it with a smile on her face. That's the difference. As you said, you're going to feel a certain way. They don't feel a certain way. It's service. I want something feminine and delicate. Woman here love servicing men, right? Do you know that a woman here would rather service you even in the bedroom than you service her, right? And women like that are in the States, too. women are like that too there, right? But they really get off on that here because they want to please you. They want to see you smile. They want to see you happy. They want to see you satisfied, right? And that's the way guys want it. That's the way guys need it. This young man, he's young. He's probably about 22 years old. He's never had that before. You know what he's been through his whole entire life? This, oh, mother, I ain't doing that for you, motherfucker. You know what that young black man went through? Exactly what guys are talking about in these videos. And I have nothing against the woman that's talking. I think I get where she's coming from, but she doesn't know how sweet it is on the other side. That's why we're telling men to get their passports because it is that sweet. It is better. And who and where is one of those countries where they're doing that the most? Where I am right now. 
where my feet are planted at right here, right now, is where they're doing it the most. Philippines, baby. And yes, that man is happy. The look I see in his face is satisfaction. And I'm proud of you, brother. That man receives for other pastoral bros out there. And guys will go to get it and receive it because they realize it's more to life than dealing with that nonsense back home. Oh, absolutely. So he's coming.